Hello, I'm Dr. Graham, the back pain professor. A question I hear quite often is this. Dr. Graham, what's the difference between an MRI and an X-ray? Well, let's, let's look at that a little closer. Here, let's, let me show you what an X-ray is going to look like. This is an X-ray suite. And basically what you do is you line up in front of the tube and they, they ask you to hold your breath for a second and they shoot the film and you're done. Uh, an MRI is going to be a little different. An MRI, you're going to uh, get in a tube. Now you can see this looks quite complex. This is, these MRI uh, tubes cost about a million dollars plus. And I'm told that the magnet inside is so powerful it would literally pull a semi off the road. And you can see this person is going inside that tube and they're going to be in there for 20 to 25 minutes while this MRI machine's on. Most people from my office that are going to go in are going to have, we're going to, we're going to confirm whether they have like a herniated disc or something like that. That's when they're going to get in there. Now, some people go, Dr. Graham, I can't get in a tube like that. So what I'm going to do is make arrangements for this person to go to what we call an open MRI. You can see the difference here. Here's this, uh, that way you can have someone next to you if you need to. Most people that like this or claustrophobic and they don't want to get in a tube like that. I've actually been in one. I went down to the center down the street when they opened up and they let me get in there and I'll tell you what, it is tight. So I can understand people not wanting to get in there for 20 to 30 minutes. This is a lot more comfortable. The downside of the open is it's not quite as good an image but it's pretty close. Now, let's talk about um, an x-ray and I'll tell you some of the things that I'm looking for on an x-ray because this is, a, this is an $80 film so you're not going to get everything but what I want to look for is the shape of the bone um, and I want to look for, this, for the uh, size of the disc. Now this particular uh, x-ray I put up here the bone looks good, it's nice and square, there's no bone spurs coming off there or anything, the disc is nice and thick but this person may have back and leg pain and so what I'm thinking is maybe something's going inside the disc that I just can't see on this x-ray because it's a blank space. So in some cases I'll send them out for an MRI and now I can see better. See I can see in here you can see this disc is inside is white which means there's a lot of uh, there's good water content, there's a lot of hydration to that disc. This disc has been maintained well and all these look like this. So this would be a this would be a, a pretty clean MRI. You can see there's there's good delineation between the spinal bones and the nerve tissue in the back. That's a good clean one. Now let's look at one that um, isn't as clean. Here is a, um, so if we took this x-ray and went over to this side now, see how this is black instead of white? This disc is drying out the tissue inside. The disc is rotting out basically. And what happens is when it, when it dries and rots out, the jelly in the middle starts to come out the back. So this one's okay. There's no bulging there. There's a slight bulge there. There's not much there. Look at this one. That bulge is sticking out there pretty hard and that one is too. You can see that these two have bulges. I can't see this on a regular film, but I can see it on an MRI. This last picture with the two bulges, most people that have that, they're gonna, they're gonna be the ones that have back pain, gluteal pain and the leg pain because those discs are pushing in on that sciatic nerve. I'm Dr. Graham, the back pain professor.